Welcome back, second grade. We're in packet two. Uh, today's work, we're looking at an article titled Wheels and Axles, and we're going to find out how they work together. Again, we want you to read this section with a family member, go over the details. If you get stuck on words, try to tap them out and work on skills to be able to hopefully understand some new vocabulary by looking both at the pictures, the diagrams, and the text together. Okay, so you'll go ahead and do your reading. Now it says close reader habits. It says, how does a wheel and axle work? Put a box around the paragraph that tells how it works. Circle the labels on the diagram that show the two parts of this machine. So make sure you go back and do that marking of the text to help you, okay? Then our questions today. It says, which sentence from the passage does the diagram help to explain? So you're gonna go through each of those and you're gonna to try to find the best answer. It gives you a little hint there. It says, after I reread the text, I'll look at the diagram. It will tell me more about what I've read. Okay, as you work on number two, it says, how does the diagram add to what the author tells us? So A, it shows that the machine can have two or more axles. B, it shows that the axle must be long and heavy. C, it shows that the wheels and axles turn in the same direction. Or D, it shows that many things around us have wheels and axles. So you're looking for the best possible answer here, and that would be in letter C as they are working together. So that's your little help today. If you're logging into YouTube and finding a little help, make sure you go back to the text to help you find those answers. Number three, it says, the article says that wheels and axles can help move people or objects from place to place. What does that mean? So go ahead, you can write that down below. Make sure you talk to a family member about what that could mean. It says, look at the article for examples of things that use wheels and axles. So go back to the text. That's what we want you to do over and over. Finally, on number four, it says, short response. How does this article help you understand how wheels and axles work? Use one detail from the diagram and one detail from the text to support your answer. Write your answer in the space on page 303. So make sure you have one detail from the words, one detail from the diagram, and have that in there. Make sure your writing is neat and easy to read. Make sure you're tapping out those sounds. This is where we're checking that writing portion of your work. It does give you a little reminder down at the bottom. It says, go ahead and check your writing. Did you read the question carefully? So make sure you know what it's asking. Can you say the question in your own words? Did you use proof from the text in your answer? So did you go back to that text? Are your ideas in a good, clear order? Does it make sense? Did you answer in full sentences? We want complete sentences. And did you check your spelling, capital letters, and periods in your writing or other punctuation that you have? All right. That will do it for today. So I hope you enjoy that article on wheels and axles. Maybe you can find some good examples around your house or things that you see maybe as you're driving in a car with family members that you say, hey, there's some examples that I can see of wheels and axles at work. All right, keep up the great work, my friends. I know that you're doing a great job. And so we will see you next time.